I am happily married to my husband Brian and we have two children together. I am a full-time working mom in medical sales. So one of my, my passions is uh, personal styling and it's a new business for me that I've started. I love to help women feel really good about themselves. My family history with breast cancer has been my grandmother on my father's side has had um, multiple bouts with breast cancer and since she was 18. My grandmother on my mom's side of the family has had ovarian cancer. I decided at 35 that I needed to get my screenings done because I have my family history with both grandmothers having had cancer. And for me, the insurance that I have kicked in when I was 35, and that was a helpful option to not have to come out of pocket as much for the mammogram portion. In addition to the mammogram, I was really interested in doing the whole breast ultrasound because I thought it's the same price as getting my hair done, and it's potentially something that could save my life. And I was interested in asking the tech questions about how this was going to work and what it would feel like and if it was gonna be painful none of which happened. It was really comfortable and the techs were all so nice and kind and gentle and explained things along the way. The 3D, you're actually taking multiple short images of the breast um, to better get a so-called 3D images just in our short short time using the, that technology. And we picked up a lot of subtle cancers that I don't think would have been seen with the conventional 2D. Screening ultrasound is, uh, uses ultrasound, which is a different modality um, than the uh, the x-ray used for mammography and in that you're you're basically scanning the whole breast with the ultrasound um, looking for masses um, basically that would show up on the ultrasound things that may be obscured on the mammography potentially would be picked up with ultrasound an additional tool um, to help find those, those subtle cancers that may be missed in women with dense breasts studies have shown it detects an additional two to three cancers per thousand women that would have been uh, not detected with just routine mammography. Um, she was noted to have heterogeneously dense breast tissue, which um, does put her at a little bit higher risk for cancer and also limits the uh, sensitivity somewhat of mammography. But I'd like to emphasize that screening breast ultrasound is not a substitute for screening mammography. There are still um, findings that are important, even in dense breasts, such as calcifications, that can represent the very earliest form of breast cancer. My results arrived in the mail in about three days. It's so important to know what what's going on in your body. So I was I was really nervous <laughs> when I first got the paperwork, but um, ultimately it was negative. I'm thankful that it was good, that I'm okay, <laughs> and that I have a baseline to go off of for future. My advice to women with history of breast cancer is reach out to the women that have had cancer because you probably know some of them and just educate yourself as much as you can about what's available to you. You have to take the first step and you wanna be around for your kids and your family and yourself. So utilize your resources, educate yourself and go get screened.